Hi there, this is uh, Ranjit and in this uh, video, I will be doing my review and give and share my experience using this uh, Surface Pro 4. I've seen a lot of reviews for the Surface Pro 4, but with almost all of the reviews, I'm not happy because I've seen the reviews are more of uh, less like a presentation than sharing the actual end user experience. And uh, now I have been using this Surface Pro 4 for almost three months. And if you have been following me, I have also posted uh, some other videos on the Surface Pro 4 earlier also. And this is actually my third unit because all of the units had some hardware issues. And in this video, I'm gonna share my real end user experience. And no way uh, this is, uh, I'm bashing the Surface Pro 4. I love the Surface Pro 4 for what it is. And I feel it's a very unique computer and no other computer actually offers what the Surface Pro does. But again, uh, it's not a perfect uh, computer and it has a lot of issues. Uh, and I want to highlight uh, those issues. And before we continue, let me give you an idea how I uh, use my computers. Actually, my main computer is the MacBook Pro 15 inch where I do all my work. That is the video editing and stuff. Uh, I also have a tablet, Tab S 10.5 that I uh, actually used to use at night. And I also had a MacBook Air which I again uh, use at night. Uh, this is my primary computer, the MacBook Pro 15 inch. I use it like a desktop with a monitor and stuff. So this was my portable computer and the Samsung tablet was my tablet computer. And uh, when I saw the Surface, uh, I've been looking for at the Surface for a long time. Now, finally, we are at the fourth version of the Surface Pro 4. And I really like the fact that it's a true hybrid solution. Uh, it can work like a full-fledged computer, but also can work as a tablet. And I really love what Microsoft has done. Just look at the form factor, guys. This is a proper full-fledged computer. That's a Core i5 variant that I have. And uh, it's so light, you can hold it in a single hand. So in terms of hardware, Microsoft has done a very good job. Uh, but again, there are quite a bit of issues. Also, you have to buy this uh, accessory separately. This is known as the type cover. Uh, I would say that if you're planning to buy the Surface Pro 4, uh, you have to actually buy this if you want to use it like a traditional uh, laptop. It attaches magnetically and that way you can use it as a traditional laptop. Uh, but again, this is also pretty expensive. Uh, first, let me talk about the pricing here in India. As you can see, it's sold in India via this uh, Amazon India. And I went uh, for this uh, one, as you can see, uh, this is the second time I'm purchasing. Earlier also I purchased in January, I had to return that because of hardware issues. And again, I purchased it on February 15. And I went with this basic version that comes with just uh, four gigabytes of uh, RAM. And uh, as you can see, uh, this cost about 90,000. And I also had to buy the type cover separately. Uh, that is for about 12,000. I went for this blue one. As you can see, I purchased that on January 13th when I purchased my first uh, Surface Pro 4. Uh, so it comes to about 1,2,000. And that's a pretty high price. If you convert it into US dollars, that's almost, I would say 1500 US dollars. So it's a very expensive computer. And I still don't like the fact that we are just getting four gigabytes of RAM. If we have to bump to eight gigabytes of RAM, then uh, it, the price goes all the way up to 1,21,000. And add that keyboard, so it'll be around 1,32. So pretty expensive, I would say. It's not a, what do you say, cheap computer by any means. But again, what it's doing is great. We also get this pen. And I specifically got uh, this uh, unit for the pen. I am an old school guy. Whenever I get ideas and stuff, I used to write that on paper. And lately it was getting uh, really difficult. I had huge piles of paper lying around. And I thought the surface will like help me in that. And I have to say it has really helped me and now I take all my uh, notes, etc., in the digital format using OneNote and I don't lose my thoughts and stuff. Now, if you ask me for any review that I've reviewed even two months ago, I have just, just opened this computer and there are all my notes. So that way it has worked and this pen works actually really well. I didn't expect that it will do this well, but again, the sensitivity is good. And it yeah, it takes about two, three days to get used to writing on the screen. But now 
I can easily write and uh, jot down notes using this one. And it has an integration with OneNote. Uh, and I really, really like the fact that it also has an eraser. So it works like an actual eraser. You just invert it and you can rub. So that way, I really love it for the functionality what uh, you get with this. But now, let's move to some of the things that I do not like. And many of these things are due to Windows 10. Windows 10 uh, is seriously a pretty buggy device. And also the fact is that, uh, again, uh, I, I would say as an end consumer, this is not a issue that you should be, uh, that is irrelevant to you because you are paying the full price. Uh, Microsoft chose to go with the latest Intel uh, processor. That's the Skylake processor. And these processors have uh, actually a lot of issues in power management and stuff and i feel a lot of hardware issues that i am facing and other users are also facing is due to that skylake processor but again as an end consumer when you're paying this much you shouldn't be bothered about that microsoft should have done a better job and uh, so there are some power issues the what do you say standby life was not that great on this device uh, it used to drain a lot of power when you used to keep it on standby like this if you just put it on standby and uh, it used to drain power but with the last update it has been a sort of solved I would say not completely sometimes it just freezes so you have to do a hard reboot uh, but I like the fact that it has that windows hello as you can see it unlocked the computer let me do it again uh, this is in standby and uh, if you just press this button it's going to scan my eyes and as you can see it unlocked so we have that windows hello feature i like it i won't say it's totally foolproof uh it works for me about 95 percent of the time and even in very dark environments it works so i like that feature that works uh but sometimes the system will simply not come out of standby and you have to do a hard reboot and this is pretty annoying if you have some uh, critical work uh, there and you just want the computer to just start uh, because doing a hard reset or something if you're a meeting it's sort of embarrassing so that has happened a couple of times with me uh, so that is one issue that i have with this device also moving to other hardware issues as i've already told this is the third surface pro 4 that i have uh, the second one was actually a review unit that microsoft india had sent me uh, i've sent that back uh, i would say uh, we also have the screen flickering issues on the Surface Pro 4. If you keep the screen brightness at the lowest, for example, at night, I, I like to use my tablets like that before going to sleep. But uh, uh, as all the lights are off, I have to keep the screen brightness at 0%. And when you do that, the screen starts to flicker. And uh, this I have noticed uh, both on my Surface Pro 4 first, which I purchased and even on this one, this is the latest. So this is a known issue that will happen. And uh, yes, you can migrate those issues if you keep the brightness above 15% or even if you keep it at 20% it never happens. But at 20% the screen becomes really bright. Uh, yes, there are some third party Windows software like Flux etc you can use. But I feel the hardware quality control is simply bad. Also, uh, this unit does not have the light bleeding issues but uh, the other two units that I had uh, have uh, light bleeding issues uh, coming to next point again microsoft touts that uh, this is a tablet computer so naturally you will expect that the virtual keyboard you'll be using the virtual keyboard if you use it in the tablet mode but i have to say the virtual keyboard is one of the worst virtual keyboards that i have used uh, in fact, only with Microsoft apps, the auto correction uh, works uh, with third party apps like Chrome web browser and any other app. If you use the auto correction also does not work. Another thing that I have noticed in the tablet mode is that sometimes for no reason, uh, when you use the virtual keyboard, it will just hang like this for 15, 20 seconds. And this is not just that it happened once. Uh, almost I face this issue every day, almost twice. I don't know why it happens, but it's happening a lot. And it can be really frustrating when you are really working. It really, uh, what do you say, disrupts your flow. Uh, so that ha is happening. So I feel uh, though the hardware wise, Microsoft has done an incredible job in my opinion. Uh, the software execution is simply not that great and the end user experience what i was expecting from a premium product is simply not that great it's a very average uh, experience i would say uh, when this device works perfectly for example two three days it will work perfectly and i would say 
<laughs> and I even tweeted about that uh, when I was having good experience. It's one of the best uh, computing experience. But again, uh, that's a short lived uh, experience. Again, those issues and the bugs, they just come up. Uh, but again, if you are, you know a little bit about Windows and you can tinker around with the stuff, then you can solve most of the issues. But some of the hardware issues are there. For example, the screen flickering issue is a uh, widespread uh, known issue. Battery life also is sort of pretty average. I would say Microsoft, uh, according to their original specs, claim that the battery life should be about nine hours. As I've told, I've used three surfaces and I got nowhere near that. In realistic uh, situations, I would say you can get a battery life of around five hours to 6.5 hours based upon the work that you are doing. And again, guys, I'm not doing very heavy work with this, like video editing and stuff. Uh, this is my sort of the secondary computer that I use for my research work. So a lot of uh, browsing. In fact, I use three different browsers, Opera, Chrome, and even the Edge browser. Uh, and I take I use it for writing a lot of notes and watching some YouTube videos. Uh, so it's not with very heavy usage, but my battery life per charge fluctuates between five hours to six and a half hours. So again, as a tablet, I would say as a computer, that battery life is fine. But again, if you have been using other tablets like the iPads or even Android tablets, uh, most of them easily get about 10 hours of battery life with regular usage. So the battery life is comparatively low compared to other tablets that you might have used. Also, our other bugs that I've noticed is that uh, regarding this type cover, I would say it works fine most of the time. But sometimes uh, it will simply now it's working, but sometimes even while attaching, it will simply not work. And I would say it happens once in 10 times. So it's OK. And sometimes if you reattach, it starts working. Uh, but at times I've noticed that you have to do a reboot of Windows to detect it. So I'm also saddened about this because the Surface Pro 4 is not the first version. We are right now at the fourth version and still having bugs like this is sort of uh, unacceptable in my opinion. Now moving to the good thing, I really, really like this type cover. Just notice how thin this is. This can also act like a uh, cover. For example, uh, can we use, let me attach this one. Oops. Okay. And like this, you can carry around. So it's sort of protective also. Um, this sells for about 12,500 in India. That's about $180 if I'm not wrong. Uh, so let me just detach this. And I really like the typing experience that I, uh, you get on this. Uh, when I got it, I didn't have very high expectations with this uh, type cover, but surprisingly, it is actually very good. And I can easily type very fast with this one. Also, the keyboard is backlit. So even if you use at night, it's easily visible. You can control the brightness level. Uh, also moving to the trackpad, the trackpad is surprisingly good. So uh, I would say in terms of the type cover, I am really impressed with that. But again, it's an expensive accessory that you sort of have to buy with this device. And I feel Microsoft should just bundle this uh, selling the Surface Pro 4. Uh, now moving to some other pointers, for example, just unlock. And as you can see, I use this computer every day. It's not like I'm not using this computer because uh, this is one of those rare devices uh, that is a true hybrid, I would say. You can use it like a, a laptop uh, by using this type cover. You can also use it like a tablet. But moving to the tablet functionality, I would say Windows 10 is sort of pretty weak in the tablet mode. Uh, the app selection is also sort of limited, uh, I would say, in terms of tablet optimized apps that you have. Yes, we have a lot of apps, but uh, the tablet optimized apps are pretty less. So I was mostly using it in the desktop. Uh, but again, it's Windows. So you have thousands and thousands of softwares for uh, desktop. So that way, it's a good experience you will have. Uh, but again, if you expect the seamless integration in the tablet mode, that is not there. Again, the icons, etc. even for the Edge browser are pretty small. So I, it's really, uh, I would say, uh, not totally optimized for touch in my opinion. But again, you sort of get used to that. Now, I would say, like, let me just uh, move to some of the points that I really like about this device. I really love this kickstand and I feel every tablet should have this. And due to this kickstand, I would say 
uh, using this uh, tablet is uh, super convenient. I love it for the kickstand because you can easily prop it on your desk. You can even use it on your lap. And as this, uh, due to this kickstand, uh, as you can see, it can go all the way uh, up and down. Uh, it easily distributes the weight even when you are having it in your lap. So it does not feel heavy while using. So I really love the functionality of the kickstand that we have. And uh, I like the pen. Uh, now moving to what do you say? Uh, uh, let me just uh, now talk about the overall rating that I would give to this device. Uh, in terms of uh, build quality and the screen quality, I have to say, I have to give it 10 on 10. Uh, Microsoft has done an amazing job. The screen quality is amazing. One of the best that I've seen on a tablet, uh, even in terms of color reproduction, which is sort of important for people like me who are who work with videos and are critical about colors. The color accuracy is really good. I really like that. And it can also go really bright. The only uh, con regarding the screen that I have is that even at 0% brightness, it's actually pretty bright in my opinion. Uh, so in terms of the build quality and uh, screen quality, I would give it 10 on 10. Uh, moving to the uh, pen support uh, and the one uh, note integration. I would uh, uh, give it a rating of nine out of uh, 10. And I love the fact that we have this eraser, which actually works like a real world eraser. You just uh, go the other side and start rubbing it and it works perfectly. So I would give it a rating of nine out of 10. I'm not a big artist, so I don't draw a lot of stuff, but I have also used the iPad Pro's pencil once. And I feel uh, the iPad pencil is a little bit more accurate if you are an artist. Uh, but again, for general usage, for uh, uh, jotting down notes and stuff, I would say it's really good. And I like the fact that Microsoft is not charging any extra for this uh, pen on the Surface Pro 4. It comes bundled with the package. Now, moving to the battery life, uh, uh, here I would give it a rating of just 6 out of 10. Uh, because again, Microsoft says this is a hybrid tablet. And most of the other competing tablets give a battery life of around 10 hours so here it's just around five and a half to six hours so i'll give it a rating of six hours and uh, again regarding the kickstand and the amazing usage that you can have due to this kickstand i would say it's an amazing job that microsoft has done and i would give it a rating of 10 on 10. moving to price to performance uh, ratio here it loses a lot of points again guys as i've told you this uh, four gigabyte ram model in india cost ninety thousand, and again you have to add the cost of the uh, what do you say this uh, type cover which is twelve thousand rupees uh, extra uh, so it comes to about one lakh two thousand that's around fifteen hundred uh, dollars and for that you're just getting four gigabytes of ram and i feel that is pretty expensive so i would give it a rating of just six out of ten microsoft should have given the eight gigabyte RAM model at this price in my frank opinion. Also, now moving to uh, one of the best things about this computer, this is truly a hybrid computer. It can work like a tablet and with this uh, type cover work like a traditional laptop. So Microsoft has done an incredible job in that department. It's not that heavy to use for a large uh, size tablet uh, uh, that is having a 12.3 inch screen. And uh, here I would give it a rating of 8.5 out of 10. It loses some points due to Windows 10 is simply not that friendly in tablet mode. So I would give it a rating of 8.5. Now moving to the hardware control uh, for the price, as I have told, uh, this is the third Surface Pro uh, that I'm having and the hardware quality control is strictly poor in my op opinion. Uh, we have that screen flickering issues and many of the other Surface Pros also have the light bleeding issues. We also have the sound popping issues on some of the Surface Pro 4. And this is my third unit and still this is not the perfect unit. Now I've got tired. I'm not going to replace this unit. I'm just going to use it, but again, I would say, am I totally satisfied? No way I'm satisfied because I'm paying a lot. And if you're paying this much, you should get a perfect product. So in terms of hardware quality control, I would say I would give it a rating of four out of 10. Now moving to overall experience, I would give it a rating of 6.10. Again, it's an amazing hybrid tablet, but again, the experience can be frustrating because at times, as I've told you, the screen just hangs for 10, 15 seconds. The virtual keyboard experience is not that great. And sometimes the, the tablet will simply not come out of, uh, what do you say, sleep, which is not to be expected uh, from a flagship uh, product. Again, 
uh, I can't give any excuses to Microsoft. Uh, earlier with Windows, other uh, OEMs, uh, the hardware was made by, for example, Dell, etc., and all those things, and the software was made by Microsoft. But here, the entire hardware is made by Microsoft. You even have a freaking Microsoft logo over here, and Windows 10 is made by Microsoft. So uh, it should actually have a lot better out of the box experience which is simply not true so overall i would give it a rating of 6.5 out of 10 and i would say buy the surface pro 4 if you really need a hybrid device with pen support and you're okay with the bugs that you will encounter and the stability issues if you are sort of a power user then yes you can migrate those issues but if you expect that you'll have a seamless experience with the surface pro 4 then you would be not having that seamless experience in my opinion. So again, uh, this is my frank opinion regarding the Surface Pro 4. Uh, uh, so I hope you uh, like this video. And again, I have also made some other videos regarding the Surface Pro 4 earlier also. Uh, I'll have the uh, link for those videos uh, in the YouTube show notes. So again, make sure you check them out. And uh, thanks for watching this uh, video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.